Well, live commentary from the quarterfinals, and a man whose praises I have been singing all evening trails 2 0 with uh, not the best start. This man here, Hanu Sorminen. He's played some cracking darts over the course of the last few hours. He really has. 6 0 over Isabel Nord Skog. 6-4 over Marco Cantela, who I'm sure would have been the favourite after playing two tournaments and winning both of them so far this weekend. Reasonable, um, well, reasonable, a very good performance again against Anton Ursland. Ursland himself was looking pretty good. Meanwhile, Kirkby has beaten Pekarinen. Andreas Harrison in the last leg decider and Sammy Hergström. That was 6 0. It's looking like it's Kirkby who's going to be our first semi finalist, but it's still early days. Got to get to six legs. We also have Norris Gleglu and Ben Lambertson. They are battling out. That's um, for a place in the quarterfinals. And the other two confirmed semi final quarterfinal, excuse me, are just warming up. Both feature one man from Finland and one man not from Finland. How many Finns will we see in these semi finals? Potentially not. Hanu Sorminen, who is now 3 0 down to Jon Kirkby from Denmark. That double ten. Got him a break of throw. And time may start to run out for the Finn quite quickly. Hanu's averages in the last two games have been 86. So nearly a 20 deficit compared to what he has been throwing earlier today. I've also got another screen, Jeffrey de Graaf and Parvo Mailer. We've just seen Parvo. I'll keep you posted on the goings on in that one as well. And Jon Kirkby, to make light work of this, go 4-0 up. Doesn't look to be missing too much, does he? But that is two misses at double tops. And a little chance here for Sorminham to break back. Well, 14 bullet has to be. Oh, yes. Classy. Classy. you got to love it. Almost looked intentional. I would say never in doubt, but whenever the bullseye's there, there is usually a little bit of doubt. But really, really good rescue there from Sorman. And important uh, leg as well. You don't want to be going 4-0 down. And it was a break of throw. So in theory, he was throwing to reduce the deficit to just one. Which is so much better than a deficit of four.
that's a good little rescue there. After only scoring 40 with his opening visit. And that's a 140 again. Back to back 140s. That lowers, sorry, that halves the deficit, not the deficit, halves the score, should I say, of Hanu. And something Hanu hasn't had much of in this, in this game so far is breathing space. Well, he's got some in this leg. I was about to say he might not need it. He will now because he's not going to take it out. But 146 darts there. So what was that? That was, um, I'll tell you in a second. There you go. 82. <laughs> that was 82 scored. Oh, plenty of time. Plenty of time for this 58. Average has improved. I'll be interested to see what the average looks like now. After that 58 into there you go. So average has now improved. Still 10 down on what he has been playing today. But this game may well have legs in it still. Minimum of three legs. Might even have six more legs. Jeffrey de Graaf 1 0 up over Pavo Miller in another quarter final. Jeffrey opened up with a 100 average. Yes, granted, only one leg, but not bad, is it? Five visits to the board. Run, 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 run. That wouldn't have stayed in for much longer. But it was in the treble. That's the important thing. 305 is always a funny one, isn't it? You debate about the best way to go. I like the Simon Whitlock way. I like just going three darts at bullseye. <laughs> Hope you get something good. Well, there we go. Just, just south of the treble there. About a 140. To back up the millions of 140s we've already seen today. Don't always see the uh, Treble 18 views on the, on the 112. I don't mind it because you've got two shots at Treble 18. Why not? Kirk is going to be back for 20. Pressure on the 20. What pressure? What pressure? Mindaugus Borowskis, who, by the way, will be featuring the World Cup of Darts, as he is the only Lithuanian in the building. He trails 3-1 to Jonas Maselin. That's a quarterfinal. And Maselin of Finland. will take on Jon Kirkby should he win that one 
or Hanu Solomon, excuse me, not just Yonko. The winner of this is what I'm trying to say. So if Hanu can find a way of coming through this one, it would be an, it could be an all finish semi final. We need to be guaranteed a fin in the final. Got a little work to do yet. Yon Kirkby. Choices. Bullseye usually the way we, we go for these things. 71 left, so 13s or 17s. 62, treble 10. I think he heard me. Right then, Hanu. Keep those hopes alive. 12 for tops. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. An important checkout as well. Didn't look like he was under any pressure there. Feel like he was under any pressure there. Jeffrey de Grasse still averaging over a ton. It's 3 0 up. And he's now 3 1 up against Pavel Miller, who's just got his first leg of that quarter final. Jonas Maselin now leads 4-1 against Borowskis. One oh one from Jon Kirkby. First start in the treble twenty, and it was pretty much academic from there. Five three. Swaminen has got a bit of work to do here. He needs to win all three legs, three on the spin. To reach the semi-finals. Very simple, um simple in theory, isn't it? Graph now for one up, averaging a ton. I want to keep an eye on this to graph average. A ton for the match would be very impressive indeed. Swarming and favourites to take this leg, even with that big one from Yon. Is it 42 remaining? So he's the top sort of guy. Well, this would be a way to close it out. Oh, well, when he gets the first dart in the treble, the rest is academic. The rest is academic. There we go. Textbook stuff there from Jon Kirkby. He's done very little wrong in this game. And he... 
Leeds wins against Hanu Sominen. 6-3. Sominen was my dark horse. I fancied him for the title. I really did. Maybe Yon might do it. You never know. Very good game there. But Yon just had a little bit too much at the crucial times. And that finishing was looking pretty excellent. One step closer to playing in Jena on the European Tour. In September is Yon Kirkby.